fishing with them family. So today I'm gonna be uh, fishing one of my um, little honey holes um, up in the Austin area. Basically, I took my kayak out for the first time. Um, did a very well, performed very well with my PWM motor on there. I should cause a fish. So I'm very impressed with this kayak. Um, a lot of, you know, um, vulnerability, a lot of uh, maneuverability, a lot of, um, you know, it's pretty fast and it risks the current pretty good. I've been very impressed so far what I've done. So, so you know, I had an early mod in my kayak where, you know, I had a trolling motor before on that thing. Then, you know, one day I was in a tournament and the PWM fell in the water and that thing completely drowned and I had to restart again. But it took me almost a year and a half to restart. Cause you know, like I was struggling financially. I finally, you know, got me a decent motor and a new uh, hookup to that thing. And then a lot of easier modifications. I learned on YouTube from time to time. You know, with the thing that you pull, I mean the pulley on the motor uh, with, the, uh, with the cleat that's on the side and it makes a huge difference. I'm lifting the motor up and down. Instead of having, you know, just reach back and then pull the thing. And, you know, and then that thing, you know, only, you know, lifts you know, halfway at an angle. I mean, that was a pain, but you know, I'm really very uh, satisfied with what I do with my kayak. And um, just uh, check out the video and enjoy. All right. All right, I got the motor kayak in the water. So far, everything's working pretty good. Had a little mishap earlier in one of the carabiners uh, to my uh, power steering. The cord uh, snapped off in the wind while I was getting here. But that's not bad. I got my controller you no know, working pretty good. Battery's full. Reading 62 on the controller, but that's why I might have run a battery too. I'm just gonna keep uh, kind of going up and down. But check this. If I get too close to you know the, the shore, press that. And back it out. That off, power switch off. Working wonders for me. This kayak, I'm gonna bring it home. So I don't have to worry about leaving my mom's driving 10 minutes to get it. That's why I kind of came a little late. I'm just ready to catch some fish, you know, on my new rig here. Gotta be there. All right. Back it out a little bit. Stop. And some nipped it. in the 60s. My Yamamoto's and I switch colors. It's a green, um, you no, know, it's a watermelon red, green flake. Oh, it seems to do a trick out here. It's covering as much water as I can, I'm trying different stuff. Not acting now, but you know, they will be here in 
probably a bit. Oh, about to go shallow. No problem. Steer this boat around. The yacht boat, that's what I call it. All right, so after nothing was working after a while, finally threw a craw, and um, this is what happened. Check this. All right, y'all. So next, I'm gonna throw um, a Guggen uh, Squad. It's a green pumpkin cracking craw. If everything else fails. The drop shot, swim baits, uh, jerk baits. I'm going with the craw. You always seem to catch them on this side when it's cold. Picking up. Might be heading out here in a little bit. Wind just keeps shifting all day. West and south, and west. We're shifting all day. Now we have another one. There we go. Let's go. Number two on the crack and craw. Ooh, he's pulling drag too. Oh man, come on, get out of my vest. There you go. All right, a little smaller than the last one, but it's two down so far. All right, see what we got here. All right, release that fella. This uh, concludes the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, like, subscribe, and share, and um, let the world know about my content. All right.